Hey everybody, has it been a whole week already? Time sure does fly when you're having fun with the tired old queen at the movies. Let's go see Steve, he's got a good one for us this week. I'm very excited, I hope you are too. I know. <laughs> Jan! <laughs> tired old queen at the movies. Jan, I decided to show one of my favorite films that I first saw on NBC Saturday Night at the Movies. Henry King's production of Hemingway's The Snows of Kilimanjaro, starring Gregory Peck, Susan Hayward, Ava Gardner, and Hildegard Neff. Now, this was based on a short story by Hemingway, and when Casey Robinson, who wrote the screenplay, went to, to make a movie out of this, he had to combine a lot of different stories. Daryl F. Zanuck, who ran 20th Century Fox, had always been envious of Hemingway. He tried to live his life as much like Hemingway as possible. Hemingway couldn't stand him. <laughs> Zanuck idolized Hemingway. And there were not that many really successful Hemingway adaptations. However, Gregory Peck, a few years earlier, had done one called The McCumber Affair, so he seemed to be the logical choice for this movie. And Zanuck very much wanted to impress Hemingway. So he sent out a second unit to Africa, and they went all over the belt and shot footage for this, and it was shot in Cinemascope and Technicolor. Gregory Peck plays Harry Street, and Harry Street is a frustrated writer. And when the movie opens, he is on safari in Africa, and he has gotten a thorn in his leg, and it has swelled, and he's getting gangrene. Being a writer, I prefer to think that it was a prick of fate, a mere prick of a thorn that laid the great man low. And they're waiting for help to arrive. They're in the middle of nowhere. And his wife is Susan Hayward. And Susan and he have a troubled marriage. And she loves him. And she's trying to help him get through this. And he is going in and out of fever and remembering his life up until that point. And he feels that he has failed as a writer. And the main thing that has gotten in his way, according to him, uh, have been the women in his life. And I'm not sure I want to hear it. He first has a flashback to when he's a teenager and this young girl that obviously you know gave herself to him he's ditched her and she berates him and runs out on him not once did you yell to me to wait i love you you don't even know what love is his old uncle played by leo g carroll throws him his first gun and says you know if you want to be a writer you should travel the truth worth telling faith worth living by he starts out and he goes to Paris. And when he's in Paris, it's supposedly the 20s. Of course, it's the looks like the 1950s, but <laughs> that's Cinemascope for you. And they were in, they were in location in, in Paris, and there he meets Ava Gardner. Please. And Ava Gardner's character is Cynthia. And Cynthia is this kind of lost American girl who has been dumped by a boyfriend, had very many tragic affairs, and he's really taken to her right away. Well, how would you like it if you and I would just hire you right out of here? Whereas in Mogambo, she plays sort of a rough and tough kind of character who's more in control. In this one, she's very vulnerable. And he says uh, to her, can you possibly see yourself as being Harry's girl? And she says, Will you be kind to me? I think I'm a little afraid of you. He writes his first novel, and they live together in Paris, and they have this magical time together. And with his first check from his publishing, this novel, he goes on safari to Africa. And he takes her with him, and she doesn't want to go. And she finds out while they're in Africa that she's pregnant. And she's torn between telling him, because she knows that he, that'll force him to you know, settle down and he'll be unhappy. And she doesn't want to lose the baby, and she's all torn up about it. Oh, that's not right, darling. It's very sad. You with your ambition, me with my guilt. Something happens that transpires, and they have to part. And uh, he starts looking for her everywhere, and he can't find her. And with each successive novel, it's like he keeps growing and growing in fame. And the more fame he gets, the less happy he is. He hooks up with this 
German countess who um, may be a lesbian. She may be gay. She's absolutely gorgeous. It's a German actress, Hildegard Neff, and she was sort of in the Marlon and Dietrich mode. She's stunningly beautiful, and she has a smoky voice, and she has a widow trouble with her eyes like Dietrich does. Naturally, when I have an incentive, swimming to you, darling. At one point she says to him, Oh, Harry, you're so silly. Running after like a knight looking for the Holy Grail. You know? <laughs> and she, while he's with her, he calls her Frigid Liz. Frigid Liz. She will put out for him. And, but that makes him that much more, her more of a challenge to him, he thinks. So he stays with her and she's got loads of money. She sculpts these modern sculptures of these seductive women. And she's always looking at them and making these like, round sculptures of them. His uncle comes to visit and said, can I ask you a question? She says to him, is it as entertaining as the last question you asked me? And he says, tell me, have you named her yet? You have a suggestion? Ceres, the goddess of fertility. Madame? She almost tears his throat out, you know. So, they have an altercation. He leaves her because he gets a letter from Cynthia. And at a party, she tears it up. And he hasn't heard from her in a long time. And he goes on a bender. And on that bender, he is back in Paris. And he's going to all the haunts that he was at with, with Ava Gardner. He meets Susan Hayward. And she's a wealthy widow. And she falls in love with him. And she tries everything to make him happy and he wants to go back to Africa because he thinks if he goes back to Africa he'll somehow recover his lost talent and what he was looking for. So they have made a camp at the foot of Kilimanjaro. Susan is so poignant in this because it's she, it's really the secondary female role. Ava Gardner has the big role but Susan is so poignant in this because she's desperately trying. She says I, I've got to save you. I'm trying to save you. Please help me Harry. Please help me. Harry. If you think you have to die, is it absolutely necessary for you to kill off everything you leave behind? She has to lance this boil on this growth on his leg or he's going to get gangrene. He's going to lose his leg. God help us. She wakes up in the night and uh, he's in a fever and there's a hyena that's almost on him that smelled the blood and she lets out this scream, you know. Ah! It's Africa. It's Paris. It's the bullfights in Madrid. It's the roar in Spain. It's got an all-star cast. It's in gorgeous Technicolor. Gregory Peck, Ava Gardner, Hildegard Neff, and Susan Hayward. In Daryl F. Zanuck's production of Henry King's film, The Snows of Kilimanjaro. Let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> Better? Yeah. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.